In your news across the nation this morning, we continue to track legislation out of our nation's capital involving the head of the Veterans Affairs. House lawmakers have voted overwhelmingly to give the head of Veterans Affairs even more firing power. This is the very latest development in the ongoing VA scandal. The bill would give VA Secretary Eric Shinseki the authority to remove or demote senior hospital executives. This comes amid growing allegations of misconduct, including treatment delays and preventable deaths, at least 40 at some VA hospitals. Well, for some, this Veterans Administration scandal draws new attention to a longtime system-wide problem. Our national correspondent, Christine Frizzell, takes a closer look at the people the scandal directly affects. It got to the point where waiting was no longer an option for retired Marine Dick Johnson. I needed my eyes. I could not drive. I could not see one block. After his local VA medical center told him the wait for routine cataract surgery would be an entire year, he paid for it on his own. And there's mounting evidence that his story is just one of thousands with now seven VA hospitals accused of keeping these secret lists to improve the appearance of wait times. In Phoenix, where at least 23 vets died while waiting for care, bonuses for employees totaled more than $843,000. And that is just a fraction of bonuses at some of these other hospitals. More than four million in Illinois, more than two million in New Mexico, and thousands more in Florida, Mississippi, and Colorado. That's more than 12,000 bonuses, totaling more than $8 million. Jeff Miller, the chairman of the House Veterans Affairs Committee, says the system as a whole is flawed. But it's easier today within the Department of Veterans Affairs to get a bonus than it is to get disciplined or get fired. Investigative reporter Mark Flatten says the reasoning for employee bonuses just doesn't hold water. The argument that these are the best and the brightest and without the bonuses you couldn't uh, attract these kinds of people. Just looking at their track record, I'm not sure the bonuses are really are really paying off for the American taxpayers and certainly not for the veterans. For Chairman Miller, the overhaul should begin as soon as possible. This is the one group of people that should be held higher than anybody else because they have earned the very benefit that they're being denied. I'm Christine Frizzell, Local 15 News.